What's up everybody? My name is Richard Liu. It is a beautiful day in Boston today, and I'm gonna take you on a day in my life as a Harvard medical student. So I'm in my final two weeks of classes ever at Harvard Medical School. I'm currently in my capstone block. Capstone block is one month at the end of med school where they give us washed up, rusty fourth years an opportunity to go back into the hospital before we become interns in residency. I'm doing an emergency medicine rotation at Mount Auburn Hospital in Cambridge. Today my shift is from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. It's about 10 in the morning right now. One of my boys, Bara, is going to be flying home today, so we're gonna be meeting up with him for breakfast and then drive him to the airport uh, before heading into work. What's up? What's up, baby? Oh, wow, it's so clean in here. Just got the boys looking at my other boy. <laughs> All right, this is my boy, Bara. What's up, guys? He's a third year med student at Harvard, starting at Harvard Business School. In August. In August, holy sh guys, underachiever over here. Future dermatologist. Future you know dermatologist, wow. And future uh, Richard best friend. <laughs> that is on camera, right? That's all. Don't camera. edit it, make sure everyone knows. <laughs> so Richard's picked me up. I'm headed to the airport. Bagel stop first though. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna get breakfast. bagels. We're gonna get some breakfast. This I'd place Mubarak, called- bro. <laughs> Yo, I'd Mubarak. <laughs> this place called Solid Grounds in Boston, highly recommend. They serve. They serve great coffee, great bagels. Uh, it's a great vibe overall. Is it one of your favorite study spots? It's not much of a study spot, kind of a grab and go. What, what are your favorite study spots around here? Um, there's Jaho. It's oh, yeah, a great Jaho spot, a great music. They love pop smoke. Um, rip. And um, good food, good smoothies, good coffee. Yeah, it's a, just a great place overall. I just, just like a sponge around you and your vocabulary. Uh -huh. Again, coming back to Alabama again. Let's go, baby. Thanks for the ride, man. Oh. See you in a few days. See you in a few days, man. It is two o'clock. I just took an amazing nap after dropping bra off at the airport. Uh, we're gonna get changed and head on over to the emergency room. Always gotta do the tuck. Breaking out the hocus today. Best shoe in the hospital. So we are on the way to the hospital. We'll be there in just a couple minutes. I will not be filming in the hospital for obvious patient privacy reasons, but I will give you an update on how the shift went when I wrap up at 11. Maybe share a couple of the cases and share some tips for med students working in the emergency room. It is 11.22 p.m. Our shift just ended. I've driven back to Jamaica Plain where I live. I'm sitting outside of this Mexican place called Chilacates, which is right by my home. It's my favorite restaurant in Jamaica Plain. Shout out to their burritos. They're the best burritos I've ever had. Better than Chipotle, better than Codoba. Exciting day in the ED. You know, typically as a third or fourth year med student over an eight hour shift, you're seeing somewhere between six to eight patients. And what's really crazy about working in the emergency room is that you just see anything and everything. You know, today we had patients with trauma, wounds that needed lacerations, had a patient that had brain bleed after a fall. Um, we had patients that come in for psychiatric reasons, pregnant patients that come in for OB-GYN reasons, and patients that come in just feeling unwell and we have no idea what's going on with them. And you know, I'm not going into emergency medicine, but the thing that really drew me in when I did my emergency medicine rotations is how quickly you're just always thinking on your feet, tackling and dealing with anything that comes through. And you just have to be a really sharp problem solver with a really solid fund of knowledge to know what to do in all of these situations. And really the motto of my time on these rotations is just figure it out, whatever the situation might be. A couple tips for all of you that might be entering into emergency medicine rotations for the first time. I am someone who's coming off of two years without being in the emergency room. And I will say three things that help me really just jump right into things. Number one is ask the residents for their macros for Epic or whatever EMR you use. Oftentimes these residents will have scripts that are written up already for all types of problems. I had macros that were saved from a couple years ago with what to do if someone comes in with a headache or chest pain or shortness of breath or right lower quadrant pain. And having these things enable you to know what the right thing to do is in a particular situation without having to reinvent the wheel. Number two is to ask for help when you need it. I think 
Nothing is more annoying than someone who is really eager but doesn't know what to do and then chugs along ahead doing the wrong thing and ultimately wasting their own time or other people's time. A trick that one of my residents taught me once is that it's just more effective to confidently tell people that you don't know something. It's really good to know your limits and to know when to ask for help. And then the third thing I think that's common to any rotation really is uh, to know how to anticipate other people's needs. This is a really important one, especially as a med student who is trying to integrate into a workflow that often exists already without you even being there. And so one of the best ways that I've found to be helpful, especially in the emergency room where there's a lot of chaos going on, is to really think for your patients, what's the next step that needs to happen either for the nurse or for your attending or the resident that you're working with and see if you can preempt it. So for instance, if you know that a patient needs to get uh, a laceration repair, go and set up the suture kit beforehand and get all the supplies that you need so that it doesn't have to be done right when the resident has their you know five minutes of free time. So I'm gonna go get my burrito now. Thank you everyone for joining me on this day in my life. Bit of a weird one because I had a shift in the afternoon and I had the morning off, but you're gonna have these types of days when you're in med school. Be sure to like and subscribe as always. Feel free to ask any questions that you have in the comments below and I will see you next time.